up guys, Alberto Neto here. Very excited to be at the Zildjian factory in Norwell, Massachusetts, recording a few educational videos for you. And today we're going to be talking about samba, uh, basic ride symbol patterns, and later on I'll be talking about some improvisation or how to get ideas to improvise over a samba beat. So let's start. All right, on this video you'll learn the basic patterns to play uh, samba on the drum set I mean, write cymbal patterns to play samba on the drum set. And samba is a Brazilian groove, and you write and feel it in 2-4, not 4-4. Four, four. Some people count and write in 4, but in Brazil we feel it in 2, and it's uh, the 16th notes, it's what makes the groove. Um, I understand 4-4, four, four, like when you play swing, 1, 2, 3, 4. kind of important to have that drive, but in samba we, you gotta feel it in two and have the swinging sixteens in between. It goes one, two, two, two. Um, so that's important to, to feel. Um, there is no clave, there is no Brazilian clave. Many people think there is a, a clave from Brazil, but in Brazil we, ju we don't say two, three, or any numeric uh, way to describe the claves. Each style has you know, a, quite a few claves you can use, and samba has lots of them, usually used on the left hand. But um, that's for later. Right now I'm going to talk about the right symbol or hi-hat options that you may have, uh, that you can have to play samba. So the first option will be, of course, 16 notes, and it's go one, Two, one, two, and. You can have those 16s. Uh, when it's faster, play with two hands. That it's more when you have many percussionists around you, you can use this 16 uh, with two hands on, uh, on the hi-hat. But the main red symbol or hi-hat pattern that we play there is in 2-4, two, two, is the first three 16s per beat. So it goes 1 and 2 and 1 and 2 yen. So this is the authentic way we play in Brazil. Very rare to see someone playing one and a two and a two. This way. So I'll suggest you to start with the other one, with this. Just because you avoid, if you're very used to play swing, uh, you know, to swing those three notes. This one here should be uh, kind of straight. Um, so I, I've created some warm-up exercise that I call samba warm-ups, where you have your left hand playing single, double, uh, three or four notes uh, per measure while you keep that ostinato happening. And basically you play a single note, these are a couple of examples, playing the single note on one. You can have that single note on the A of one. And you can have the second sixteenths on the E of one. Then again, you have groups of two, three, and four notes. Here's an example of two notes. Here's another example with two notes. One and a of one.
and so forth. You can have three and four. I'll give you one example of the three note combination. All right, um, so now that you have this, you know, the first thing is the independence. Once you take it that away, you may try your first samba beat on the drum set. And I can use the clave that you're used to. Many people call that a bossa nova clave, but again, it's not a bossa nova clave. It's one of the many uh, claves that samba, you know, have, uh, has. And the pattern, as you know, is one, two, two, two. So we'll play this on the snare against that right symbol you just learned. All right, guys, I think that's it for to start, and I'll see you in the next video talking about some more left hand combinations and uh, improvisation. This part of the video will be talking about some left hand patterns you can use to play samba.